Hello everybody and welcome to Nathan on Shuffle and to my latest episode of New Music Weekly. It's February 2nd, 2024 and this is the show where I give you guys the top 5 prog news headlines for the week, introduce you guys to some new prog singles, and give you guys updates on the channel and what's happening here on Nathan on Shuffle. So it's been a fun little week here, uh, some interesting smattering of news, some kind of unique stories that I'm interested to get into. Uh, hopefully you guys are enjoying the content here. Please subscribe if you haven't yet. That's always helpful to the channel and any of course comments or likes are always much appreciated. So thank you guys so much for your support and for watching these videos and let's dive into the news this week. So first item of news I always like to begin with the new release for the week and for me there's one major release that I really love that I want to bring up here. It's a little bit more of an obscure uh, release that maybe many of you may not have heard of so I wanted to bring it to your attention and it's one I'm going to be reviewing this week. So it's Kairos and their new album called Mannequin. Uh, this is a UK British uh, prog group that's been around for a little bit of time, kind of a younger group of, of musicians here. And it's very much in like the Frost style vein, this neo prog, but with some real heavy 80s synth work. Uh, it leans a little bit into the popular direction on this album, but I love it for that. I love that style of music, and there's still some really wildly complex proggy stuff in the mix as well. So it's a really fun album that I've just been loving to death, and it came out today. So I just wanted to point people's attention towards it, and hopefully you guys uh, will check it out if you're interested in that kind of thing. So, And I'll get into more depth on the album when I do my review a little bit later this week. So uh, a lot of fun to be had there. Next, I want to talk about uh, Jordan Rudess, Dream Theater's keyboardist. He's signed to Inside Out Music for his new upcoming solo album. So I thought this was cool. A uh, brand new solo album. It sounds like it's coming out. Uh, I believe I, I read that it comes out in September uh, this year. So we've got a little bit of a wait, but he's putting the feelers out now. Um, putting the finishing touches on this album. It's featuring renowned drummer Darby Todd, who's worked with Devin Townsend uh, and The Darkness, as well as classically trained vocalist Joe Payne, who's done some really interesting work in the prog realm as well. And so this should be expected to release in September, as I mentioned. And it sounds really cool. This uh, Jordan comments on it saying he, uh, I knew I was going to have some time off after the last Dream Theater tour ended. Enough time to hopefully complete a new solo album. I wanted this album to push me to evolve a new compositional perspective. So this album is my inaugural voyage into crafting a solo album with a dedicated vocalist in mind. So yeah, he really loved the voice of Joe Payne and his vocals and crafted this album to feature those vocals. So it should be interesting where I feel like previous Jordan Rudess solo albums were a lot more instrumental focused, a lot uh, uh, focused, of course, on his uh, wizardry on the keyboards. Uh, so it'll be interesting to see if this new focus kind of changes directions of what his solo albums might sound like. So uh, and exciting that it's going to be on Inside Out. And it's also coinciding with a collaboration with, I believe it's called Moises, or Moises, uh, Moises Jam Sessions, a, a platform, I believe it's some kind of app or platform. You know, Jordan Rudess works a lot in like technology and creating new music technology that's different, allows people to use apps to create interesting soundscapes and things. Um, so it's he has a track that's going to be up on that uh, platform, Embers, and you can use the app to remix the song and to do different AI powered tools to be able to manipulate things within the track. So a little bit of a technology angle as Jordan is known for also with this uh, news as well. So if you're a fan of him, a fan of his technology and what he does there, uh, this should be exciting news uh, to see what he comes up with and to see what it sounds like. Uh, another, uh, an interesting story that I wanted to get into at number three here is what's been happening with Gleb Kolyadin, who is one of the members of I Am The Morning, a fantastic uh, Russian duo who plays the indie style, uh, folkyish kind of prog, chamber pop prog, if you will. Um, and Gleb's been facing some really tough issues lately. He's been uh, playing with a popular Russian rock band, uh, By Two, I believe they're called, 
and he performs as a session musician with them and they've been touring uh, a little bit outside of, of Russia and doing different gigs and so forth. And it seems like uh, they were actually jailed in Thailand and were threatened to face deportation back to Russia because some of their music apparently and some of their uh, discussions are anti-war. And of course, that's a little bit controversial in terms of Russia and what they're uh, promoting and talking about. So there was some uh, worry that they were going to be deported to Russia and face some consequences for their anti-war sentiments. Uh, but it looks like the good news, there was a change.org petition and there was a lot of people uh, sharing this news around on social media and such. Uh, Mariana Simkina who's the other member of I Am The Morning, has been really vocal about this situation and trying to get people's attention towards it and the, the wrongfulness of what's happening to these musicians and such. And the good news is it seems like they've been able to leave that, uh, they've been released from the jail in Thailand and are now on their way to Israel, uh, hopefully in safety there. Hopefully that means there's a good outcome here and that everything will be well. But it was scary for a little while there that they could face... Uh, this kind of persecution and, and trouble uh, being deported back to Russia. And so it seems like it's worked out positively. So good uh, that things are working out there. And I think that change.org petition and stuff really helped move the needle in their favor. So it's, it's good news there. And hopefully it continues to be good news for them because I really love I Am The Morning and think they do some fantastic work. And Gleb Kolyadin is a fantastic pianist, one of the best uh, in the business. And his solo albums are are really uh, excellent compositionally and just he's he's an amazing person and so I'm glad that things are working out it sounds like so um, item number four moving into Arion news Arion announced a new star studded uh, 01 01 live beneath the waves release so this is one of uh, Arion's classic concept records helmed by, of course, Arjen Lukasen himself. They did a big live production show with several different vocalists, uh, and it, uh, it was filmed for this release. Uh, so it's going to be out in several different formats on vinyl, 2CD and DVD package, Blu-ray, earbook, and different digital packages uh, to see this live spectacle come to life, which features a lot of notable musicians and is a really... A, impressive explosive performance by this group this collective so to speak of course arian is more of a project helmed by arian lucasen where he brings a bunch of guest vocalists and guest musicians to help out and tell these like really elaborate sci-fi stories and joining Arian Lucasen for these shows, uh, just to give an idea of who was involved in this production, uh, Catatonia singer Jonas Rinsky, uh, Epica's Simone Simons, Anique Van Giersbergen, Evergrey's Tom England, Pain of Salvation's Daniel Gildenlow, uh, Arena frontman Damian Wilson, Toe Hider's Mike Mills, Fido Xavier, Autumn's Marion Wellman, Praying Mantis frontman jo John J.C. Kuypers, uh, Lizette Height, Maggie Loyton, and um, Marcello Bovio and Irene Jansen. So, a uh, really exciting list of vocalists and talent there, uh, all singing together and creating this showcase. And I'm going to have one of the tracks they've released from it, The Sixth Extinction, down in my prog singles list. So, we'll get to that in a second. But yeah, it's a really cool production and it's out everywhere for pre-order uh the release is going to be in may i believe may may 17th on mascot label group slash music theories recordings so uh should be a really fun one to check out if you're into Aryan and his musical world he's also uh out for pre-order is the long lost songs that uh, i talked about in last week's show that's his more blues rock collaboration that's also coming out in may so uh, you can bundle those together or do whatever you wish uh, with his upcoming releases but exciting in the Aryan lucasen camp and then item number five another uh, collector's edition of dark side of the moon is being released by pink floyd celebrating their 50th anniversary it seems like there's so many additions now uh, to dark side of the moon of course a classic album in the genre that is well beloved 
Um, it's going to be on crystal clear vinyl. The new version will be packaged as two single-sided albums, each featuring an ultraviolet artwork print on the non-playing side. One disc will feature the cover art's iconic prism spectrum, while the second will repurpose the heartbeat monitor graphic from the original inner gatefold. In each case, the artwork will be visible on both sides of the vinyl. Uh, the collector's edition will arrive in a slipcase gatefold sleeve containing a poster. Uh, so it's a big elaborate production, uh, a lot of stuff... And they've released a lot of things as well to celebrate this 50th anniversary. So uh, interesting news on the Pink Floyd front for another big collector's edition of their iconic album. And then finally, a little bonus item. Uh, the complete Emerson, Lake, and Powell collection is being released in April. A short-lived supergroup where Emerson, Lake, and Palmer brought in uh, Powell into the mix. Uh, because Carl, Palm Carl Palmer was enjoying success with Asia and they needed to find uh, a different technical drummer to join and assist them on their recording. They only released one studio album, um, but that's going to be uh, highlighted on this release. Their complete works, a three CD box set uh, being released through Spirit of Unicorn Records on April 12th. It uh, features three bonus tracks. Uh, in addition to their studio album, plus the live album, live in concert, and a CD of rehearsals, the Sprocket Sections, which previously was only released as a bootleg recording. So, should be cool to see all this material. It's been remastered and features an enhanced booklet with sleeve notes. So, something to check out if, if you're interested in this group and this configuration. Uh, really should be fun to listen to these recordings remastered and to get a couple of new things in the makes if you're a fan of these musicians and their contributions. So should be really cool. And now let's move into the prog singles list for some cool uh, songs you can listen to this week. I put the links to the YouTube videos in the description for you guys if you're interested in checking it all out. So first we have Pineapple Thief and their track It Leads to This. It's the title track from their upcoming release coming out uh, February 9th, which is uh, next week. So uh, right right around the corner there. A really excellent track showcasing their uh, style and ability in the prog space. Uh, much more laid back and atmospheric and, you know, in that kind of porcupine tree vein, but a really wonderful track. Uh, North Sea Echoes, Unmoved is the next track, uh, featuring members from Fate's Warning, uh, Ray Alder and Jim Matthews. Uh, their album will be coming out in February also, Really Good Terrible Things, February 23rd. So this is another track, more subdued, maybe more of a ballad flavor, but really beautifully uh really beautifully played and uh, just a really good little track there and then this is a cool little item uh something in february's track hiding place this is uh, a new band that was just signed to inside out this week a uh, really cool deal for this uh instrumental project uh it's i believe it's a trio of musicians uh, doing instrumental progressive metal music. And so it should be a really cool little group. Uh, it's interesting to see where they'll go next uh, when like maybe a new album will come out. They've released an EP uh, before, but this is their first new single on Inside Out Music. And they have a, a short little U.S. tour that they're doing uh, in the midst of right now, it looks like. So uh, should be a cool band to follow if you're interested in progressive metal and should be really fun. Um, and then, like I mentioned, that Arion track, The Sixth Extinction, the live version from their upcoming release, is on my singles list, as well as a couple tracks I wanted to throw in the mix, because on these prog singles lists, I want to start throwing in songs from albums that I'm really loving and that I'm really enjoying. Um, so I put in Emerald Council, Emerald City Council and their track Ice Thinning. Uh, the single came out a, a couple months ago, I believe, but their new album is fairly recent. It came out a few few weeks ago, and I've been really digging it, very much in the vein of like a Spock's beard and, and a little bit of Feel of Kansas as well. They have the vocalist Jake Livgren, who's played a lot with Neil Morse on his various recordings, especially recently, like on the Joseph albums. Uh, of course, related to Carrie, Carrie Livgren of Kansas fame. So really cool album. And this is a really cool single from it that I wanted to dig back up and make sure you guys were aware of. Uh, I'm not quite sure if this is going to get a full album spotlight, but I'm sure at some point in the channel, I'll, I'll be talking more about this album, uh, Emerald City Council's album, Motion Carries. Uh, definitely one to check out if you're a fan of the type of prog that I tend to talk about on the channel. And then Glass Beach with their uh, their track, Coalacanth. 
this is a really cool track from their album Plastic Death, uh, which just came out as well a few weeks ago, I believe. Um, really cool, more indie, maybe punk kind of feel to it, but definitely has prog undertones. Really varied and complex and intricate little album that I've been really digging this this past month. So um, the album's called Plastic Death. So just a couple cool little tracks to test out if you're interested in some of the music that I've been enjoying lately. As for the week on the channel, it's been pretty quiet here. We did a Prog Song Sunday to uh, Genesis Classic Can Utility and the Coastliners last Sunday. Uh, I didn't have any videos through the week. It just, I didn't really have a new album I was ready to spotlight. I didn't have uh, a review ready, but uh, that's okay. You know, the channel continues forward. I definitely have a good one to f feature and spotlight this upcoming week. I'm going to be talking about Kairos and their album Mannequin, as I mentioned at the beginning of the show. Um, I'm also going to start getting into some Rush stuff. Uh, this is uh, February now, so we're officially into Rush month, so you can expect some Rush-themed shows coming shortly. I'm going to do a reaction to some classic Rush uh, with Jana this Sunday to kind of kick off our Rush month features. Should have like a beginner's guide to Rush, uh, Rush rankings that I've been working heavily on the past month, and uh, some cool album features. We're going to be talking about one of their most classic albums, Me and Jana. So should be a lot of fun if you're a big fan of Rush. Uh, and let me know in the comments if you're excited for Rush Month and any ideas for upcoming content and shows that focus around Rush and their elaborate discography. So thank you guys so much for joining me. I hope you guys are enjoying the music out there and are having fun listening to whatever you've got going on. Let me know in the comments anything that I missed from this week. I know there's several other releases. There's some lesser known releases that I'm just barely getting into that I didn't mention on the show, uh, but will probably be mentioned in future episodes. Uh, but I'm really digging a lot of what's coming out and there's a lot of cool, great new music. So Hopefully, hopefully you guys are enjoying it, and I'll hopefully catch you in another episode. Bye, everybody. Bye.